Shields up, Ironbreakers. How's everybody doing today in this fine Sunday afternoon? So, uh, let me see something here. I'm going to have to redo the visual options. Uh, and also, let me equip my trusty and another world that also starts with a T that I could use to refer to this spear. My trusty and uh, terrible. There's also a word that starts with A that I could use. Atrocious spear. Uh, also, I haven't really seen if I could maybe equip something better. So we got uh, posture damage. What else can we may maybe make work for this? Physical damage while two head handing. Physical damage, physical damage. Posture damage. Posture damage. I guess we'll just go for the posture damage. Whatever, man. Now, I need to redo the visuals because, yeah. FPS limit and <laughs> unlimited. You're crazy, dude. You're gonna, you're gonna burn a hole in my GPU. Is it like, listen, trust me. After the uh, new world situation, I would not recommend anybody that has an NVIDIA GPU, which is not my case. I'm pretty sure I could leave that on unlimited. But anybody that has an NVIDIA GPU, listen, listen, you never leave a game uncapped, okay? You just don't do that because your GPU might just catch fire. You know, it's just one of those things that happens. The high-end NVIDIA GPUs. Anyways. Let's see here. The insult medium? What? Nah, bro. Listen, we go ultra. Okay? That's how we do. Now, listen, this motion blur nonsense, this film grain nonsense, the hell out of here with that nonsense. Now, I do bring some things a little bit back, like view distance high is fine, shadows high is fine, anti-aliasing, whatever. You guys can't even tell on the stream. You can't. You just can't. Uh, reflection quality. You don't even see reflections, bro. It's fine. Global illumination. It's what. Foliage. I can leave it as is. I think that's fine. There. See? This will be fine. Is V-Sync off now by default or something? No, V-Sync is on. Okay, we're looking good. Looks like they pumped up the brightness a smidge, though. I feel like they pumped up the brightness a smidge. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Just, uh, just the volume for myself here. It's a little bit on the loud side. Say, so, hey, babe. Take a walk on the loud side. Now, we're going to be heading over to the fief of the Childem of what... Wait. It's over here. We're going to go back to that uh, chilly area. We're going to just chill there for a bit. You know? Just chill. Thuga Dunwick, good, e good afternoon, Rurikan. Me and my mom are present. Shields are up as always. Kick some ass today. Will do. Hi, Thuga's mom. How you doing? Uh, let's see. Chill area. It is a chill area. Like, look, look at how chilly it is. Also, what are the rings that I'm rocking? Okay, we're rocking wither damage. Holy damage deals additional posture. To... With this thing, I kind of don't even want to give the thing a shot. It feels bad. Now let's let's do that, and we'll just uh, we'll just give her the enchantment from our holiness. Our holiness. Do 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 do. I actually want to see if we can do two-handed. Because we're not really parrying a lot of these bad boys, so it's whatever. Enchant me! Okay, Bobo, come get some.
I thought there was another dog here for some reason. I want to be very careful. I tried grabbing my souls yesterday after the stream. I did grab them, but I immediately died afterwards again. So I'm trying to get back to the area that I was in. We'll see if that's possible. Two-handing it with holy damage is actually not joking around. <laughs> Wait, did it survive? Past this sucks. See, I was hoping I'd be able to do that because without that, I don't know, man. Okay, so we got to be careful because we already know that there's an archer over there a stealth sneak archer. I mean, I can see him. Let me lock on to him. What? Did he just shoot me through the tree? That is some uh, next level cheese. He shot me through the friggin' tree. How is this stacking up to lies of peep? See, I feel like yesterday I did a really good analogy. I understand that not everybody's on the stream every day, so I'm sorry for those of you watching the VOD later, but this is going to be a point that's going to keep getting brought up. But yesterday I came up with an interesting analogy, which is like when you look at from software games, right? If you're the kind of person that enjoys Bloodborne and Sekiro more, you're going to like lies of P more than Lords of the Fallen. If you're the kind of person that appreciates Demon Souls and Dark Souls more, you're going to like Lords of the Fallen more than Lies of P. In most situations, there's not like a direct correlation, but that would be like my overall takeaway when it comes to the comparison. I can see a dude in there, right? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do this time. This time we're gonna do things uh, a wee bit different, aren't we? Now for starters, this one deals 393. How much does the knife deal? Because I have the enhanced lacerating knife. Deals 233. This one's 393. Okay, so now ours is better. Ours is better. Um, I need the, the enhanced poison javelin. That's what I really want. So we're going to swap to this. We're going to tell this guy to go ahead and eat one of these bad boys. Chunk. 
Look at how mad he is. He's big time mad. Always wrong. You can't get here? All oh, thanks sucks to you, buddy. I have another one. You're not poisoned yet? Is he coming? <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on over. Let me be the one to show you. <laughs> it looks like we're too far away to trigger him. That's great. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No dodging. That's cheating. I need to stand perfectly still so that I can keep landing my... Aw, oh, dirty bastard. You gonna come on over? Because I can do this all day, buddy. I got ammunition pouches. I can do this all day. Damn it. Oh, come on. I get, I get some recognition for that one. Let's be real now. Come on now. Now you're gonna finally come on over. Here, have another one. Bonk. Ooh, right in the head. Right in the head we got him. I saw that. What? Actually, for this guy, I can kind of parry, so... Ah, I shouldn't be parrying this. I don't think... I don't think it's a good thing that you parry his move, but somehow it, you, he still gets the after effect of the ice. I don't think that's cool. Where do you guys... Where do you guys land on that? Like, just out of curiosity, chat. Like, if you land a perfect parry on a dude that has an attack... Oh, I see you. See, we gotta pay extra attention now, but we're gonna we're gonna do it like this. This is gonna be a very chill run through this area. <laughs> Bro, I feel like I'm playing friggin' worms. Oh, I missed. Boom! Beautiful. Oh, damn it. I was wondering if he could hit me from there. Looks like he can do it, too. Now I'm gonna have to hide somewhere, like here. How's the spear doing? Any regrets? I mean, whenever it comes to spear, me and spears in this game, there's always regrets. He didn't commit as hard as the other dude. I have to go in a little bit closer. What? Pow! I move like here. So that if he shoots me the- Oh, crap, he's actually a lot closer than I thought. Seems like he's further away because of his eyeballs. Let's, uh, pop one of these. I'm curious. I've never used one of these. Oh, this one fills it up completely. Okay. Pow! Beautiful. Beautiful! I have to come and get me. You bastard! See, that's how you get him. Kirangr Hunter Dagger. So I can also go over there and get that stuff, but I'll, I'll get that later. First, I gotta go get my souls, and I gotta open up the shortcut, because that bridge is the bridge that connects to the other side that we were on earlier. Cheese, bro, this... This whole zone is cheese. Are you kidding me? You're gonna go- th this is almost like- th But I'll- I'll tell you what, I still prefer this over like the frigid outskirts. A million times. Cause like, frigid outskirts was invisible cheese and you can't see shit cheese. At least in here, I can see the cheese. And I can counter it. Cause I have the tools. 
know exactly what to do this. Bro, it's right there. That actually is further away than I thought. No, this is not right. What the hell? Whoa, doggo. Doggo alert. Come and get me. See, because once you put poison on them, they're the ones on the clock, and I can just chill. I just chill. Listen, bro, I'm just big time chilling. Okay? I am just big time chilling. Pow! To the dome! Did you ever been hit with an hatchet to the dome? You haven't, because otherwise you wouldn't be here watching this stream. Ah, bruh. Nice try. I'm not interested. I'm not buying. Your turn, doggo. Did I hear another dog? I swear I heard another one. Come on, doggo. Come on, you want you want to get some of that wither back? There you go. How does the dog not fall? The dog doesn't seem to get like stomped like some of the other creatures do. Oh, there it is. Dude, the wither damage we're dealing on these dogs is like next level though. Fire salts. Would that indicate that these dudes are weak to fire? <clears throat> Depth perception con. Hey, man. I've actually been practicing not wearing glasses. It's rough. Because there's this theory that you can exercise, like, the focusing of your iris. Um, actually, I don't know if it's a theory or if there's actually been studies, but I've, I've read somewhere a while ago that, like, you can kind of practice focusing like a muscle. So I've been trying to not use glasses for as long as I possibly can. It's rough. I don't like them. I don't like wearing glasses, dude. I've wore glasses my whole life. Doesn't mean I have to like it. Actually, when I first found out that I was going to have to use glasses, uh, I was like, oh, I want to wear contacts instead. But my prescription is not high enough to where you should use contacts. What the hell? Ever think of getting LASIK? See, that's something that I definitely don't want to do. Bro, are you you're trying to tell me you got you gotta you wanna you wanna get your eyes lasered? Like bro, like look, all credit to the people who worked on that technology, figured it out, all of that stuff, all credit to them. But like, I don't wanna be putting no fucking lasers in my eyeballs. I'm not, I'm not that uh, confident that that would be a good thing. The Tundra Axe. Wow, this sucks. There's no way to open this up as like a shortcut. Ugh. Oof. That's a big yikes. Okay, so the last time I picked up my souls, I started running this way. Because I thought that this would lead to a shortcut. Oh, there's an archer in the back. Gotta be careful with that. Ever think of getting cybernetics? See, I'm very much in the... I, I don't like the idea of putting, like, chips or anything like that. 
The only reason I would ever use something like that, like a some kind of chip that would alter me mechanically, cybernetically, whatever, any time that I would consider use something like that would be like if I actually had some type of condition, like for instance, oh, I got my fucking hand chopped off or something. Sure, I'll wear some kind of cybernetic prosthetic. Oh, I have some nerve damage and because of that, my brain can't communicate properly with my left leg. Then I'd be like, yeah, sure, let's let's put some cybernetic shit on there. But unless something like that happens, I would avoid those things like the plague. I like, I'm a, I'm a naturalist. I like myself the way that I am. Nice shot, bruv. What the? Oh, dude, no, uh-uh. Mm-mm. Nah, dude, nah, 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 I don't like that at all. I don't like the fact that they can shoot through trees. That's bullshit. That's some bullshit right there. How's the guy gonna shoot through a fucking tree? That's what I wanna know. Oh, crap. Now he's in the perfect position. He's gonna shoot through trees. He's gonna fucking freeze me. He's got dogs chasing after me. Damn sliding animation almost got me killed. Okay. So actually we use some of our hard-earned mana. Are naturalists the same as nudists? I don't know. I don't even like I haven't really thought out the whole naturalist thing. I'm just saying like I don't want to make any changes to my body unless I absolutely have to. Bro, well, he's going inside the tree! What's the hitbox in these trees? A toothpick? <laughs> the tree isn't even here! <laughs> I was complaining about how's he shooting through the tree? The tree's not here! <laughs> That's how he's shooting through it! What the fuck?! The tree is a lie! <laughs> that- that looked really weird the way he just shot the arrow through the tree. That explains it. Ah, my souls. Hi. How y'all doing? Now then. Oh, there is a thingamajig there. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, I can drop down here. Boop. What's this about? Oh, this moves me closer this way. That doesn't seem particularly useful. This will probably lead into the shortcut that I was looking for, though. Maybe. Shield of Thunder? I mean Shield of Thunder? I want that. The Shield of Thunder. Light Shields has more physical block. Less weight. Pretty much the same requirements. Why is it called the Shield of Thunder, though? It's so weird. Yeah, I'll use that. Is there, like, a, a neat little description to the Shield of Thunder? I just like the name of it. The Shield of Thunder! Like Thor's shield! 25% healing efficiency while in Umbral. Do I have this one? Oh, this is the one that I have equipped. Did I get a new one of some kind? 
No, I have two of them and then I have two. Never mind. Sorry, I got distracted. Got distracted. Melak. Increases vigor gain. Increases item discovery rate. Wait, but I picked up a different one. It was this one. Increases agility attribute greatly. Nice. Uh, we also picked up a new one of these. It was... Lawless. I should check this one later. Anyway, where's the items? We need items and weapons. And... Is it an armor? No. Armor should just be armor, right? Yeah. Where's weapons and... Ah, melee weapons. A shield is considered a melee weapon. While most Mornstead natives... Wait, wait, wait. I can't stay here very long. I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. One second. Look at that in a bit. Oh! Big gains! Oh, you get, you're gonna let me jump here. Don't fuck with me. Bro, 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 what do you mean? Son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. There's gonna be another shortcut here at some point. Oh. Yeah, there is. I opened that. Ripperonis. It's okay. At least items don't despawn, so that's a good thing. That's fine. We'll get that thing eventually. How many beacons have you cleansed, Ruri? One. Uno. Are you close to the end, Rui? How far are you from the Hushed Saint boss? I already killed the Hushed Saint boss. He was the first boss I killed. Uh, let's see. While most Mornstead natives were quick to accept the immigrants from the Udi Ranger after they settled in the kingdom, the Hollowed Sentinel always remained suspicious of their unorthodox cultural roots. So the Urindanger, whatever, they're the Vikings. Do 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 <laughs> Sacred Resonance is almost better in every way. It's just a little bit less physical. I might stick with that for a not them pants though. Let's do the lawless tinct. That actually looks kind of all right. So there should be a way to go up because, you know, we have that, uh, the important item right there. Wait, can I go up and maybe because it's not an umbral, maybe it will be accessible? I bet to get that loot is that opposite pull and umbral that you thought was useless. Opposite pull and umbral. What you talking about? Oh! Maybe. Maybe. Kinda sucks though, I need to find some more shortcuts around here. See the caster. You're the caster. What the crap? You were staggered. You were not supposed to hit me. 
What in the... Okay, dude, okay. What's your opinion, guys? Do you think there's an oversaturation of Souls Likes games releasing too close together? Two games. Two games. Two Souls Likes released relatively close once. And your contribution is there's an oversaturate. There's too many of them. No, dude. No. There's not too many of them. Just two games. Developers have run out of ideas. This is, I'll, I'm gonna be real, this is something that has actually been kind of painful for me to witness. Like, no joke. Like, this actually upsets me. And the reason it upsets me is because I've always seen gaming as an amazing hobby. In my case, it's also a bit of a career path. But it's always been something that I want to share with other people, and I'm like, oh, dude, let's you know let's play this game is gonna be awesome let's have a good time and nowadays like no joke no actual joke nowadays the discourse is let's come up with literally anything that we can think of to be upset about something in gaming that's the gaming discourse yeah, there you go. Like that. Look at Starfield. It's just Fallout in space. Said by someone who clearly hasn't played Starfield. 100%. 100%. And the worst part is seeing this discourse in 2023 of all years. Like, we've had some bad years in gaming where not a whole lot of stuff has come out. And even in those years, I've been having a good time. But in 2023, with so many good games... People just want to shit on gaming. It's like, hey, it's, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know what to tell you, but okay. I had a good time with Starfield. I enjoyed Starfield. Is it a perfect game? Fuck no. Does it have problems? Yeah, it does. Tell you what, I still don't regret uh, the time I spent playing. Some people say that Armored Core 6 is a Souls-like. <laughs> yeah, we call those people crazy. I have a name for that. Ah, bruh, I see what you're doing. I, I spy with my little eye, that little fucker that wants to come in here and fuck me up with spells. Try this. Yeah, that's right, turn around. Pow! Is that spellcaster? Oh. I'm locked onto you now. Boom! Yeah, buddy. Boom! Have one more. Goodbye. No more spellcaster. Do 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 do. Okay, let's continue my exploration. I wonder. Considering that we need to go up there, do we have to go back in order to get that item? Yeah, because it's over there. Oh my god, it's below it. It's below it. I know how to get there now. Problem is I have to make the run back all the way, and I really don't want to do that right now. I'll get that later. Is that a ladder there? No. 
I was the first boss for you in this game because she's kicking my ass. She kicked my ass until I got more used to how the game works. Very suspicious when you find just like one enemy in this game nowadays. Like, what do you mean there's only one enemy? That doesn't sound right. Jesus, three of these to get poison proc? Wow, four? Bearing you, it's a waste of time. The attacks are so good damage, I still have to dodge, so. I feel like this mob is a, is a strange change of pace, because in the early game, they taught me how to parry this moveset. Now that I know how to parry this moveset, I'm dodging this moveset, because if you parry it, you get punished. Kind of weird. I guess first they teach you how to parry, then they teach you how to dodge. Oh, I see you. I don't think I don't see you over there, Mr. Archer Man. I spy with my little eye a little cheese ball. A little cheese ball. Damn it. He's got protection, though. That would have been right in his skull, right there. If he shoots through it, okay, he can't shoot through it. That's fair. Are those dogs? I hate ranged mobs in this game. I just have a, a deep seated hatred of them. You get what you deserve! <laughs> That's gonna be a shortcut that we'll unlock later. Or maybe sooner. There's a whole area that I haven't explored on the other side. Falls all the way down there. Why am I getting warnings of Umbral? I don't understand why the game's giving me a warning of Umbral here. I think there's probably something to come back from Umbel right below me. But this feels like some kind of a boss fight. With the obvious bait of picking up the item there. Oh no, it's water. That's why it was giving me the warning. It's like you're gonna have to go underwater. Get through here. <laughs> Are you enjoying this compared to Lies of P? Personally, this gels more with me than Lies of P, but it's gonna vary depending on everybody's taste. Sunken Beseecher. 
that is. We'll look at. Oh no, Modok. This is a tough Modok too. Bro. Second, I thought it was the Admiral. God damn these little things. I was scratching my nose. Stop it. Got me some slack. It's a slow fight. I'm gonna need to like scratch myself from time to time. That dodge was perfectly timed. It would have been dead. Wait, we're already on level one? That was a little bit fast. Dude! You are kidding me right now. Bye, Modoc. Unfortunately, Modoc's respawn, so this is all pointless. Especially if I end up losing my souls over it. Hello. Boop. Good job. We did it, team. Although it would actually have been easier to just run past him. To be fair. Running past him would have been the winning play. A major shortcut. Big winning shortcut right here. Progress was made. Kirangur Rebel's Hammer. We'll look at that in a bit, too. Dude. I hate the fact that the ice just stays there and keeps stealing damage. It's annoying as hell. How are you alive with a magic pixel, goddammit? sent to the umbral realm by this goddamn dog. Okay. 
hard earned mana. Yes, dude. <laughs> One hit? Is that what we're doing? One hit frostbite. Was I was I already like high on frostbite or something? That is harsh. So we're giga low. But we've opened up the big beefy shortcut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count my blessings and then I'm going to figure out if I can run past all the way into this. But before that, we have another thing that we want to go check out. Are there no healing spells in this game? Yeah, there are. Look at how powerful it is. I was already a little bit frostbitten. Okay, that's fine then. It just really felt like it just hit me once. I was like, what the hell? What is this nonsense? It looks so easy when you're playing. That's not what I would say. I don't think the way that I've been playing makes it look, e makes it look easy at all. <laughs> I'm playing with what I would consider to be one of the weakest weapons in the game, if not the weakest weapon in the game. Uh, actually, let's warp over to Skyrest. I want to see if I can upgrade this shield. Because I actually really like this shield. My main problem with this game is that every single thing you do moves you miles. You mean the momentum. Like, we're gonna start running and I'm gonna stop. Look at how much our character still moves. It's... It's... The momentum is a little bit more realistic, but then you run so fast that all that realism kind of goes out the window. It's a strange thing. It's like, oh, we want you to run real fast because it's a fantasy game, but we wouldn't want you to stop too fast. That would just not be reasonable, you know? It's, it's kind of weird. The decisions made between this part we want realistic, this part we want power fantasy. It's like, if I can run this fast on a full suit of armor, right? Why do you care if I stop on a dime instead of having to like, you know? But hey, it was a design decision. You get used to it. It's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal once you get used to it. Like I said, there's an adaptation period, but once you get over that, it feels good. Now, uh, let's see. We upgrade this. This is three of those. Upgrade. Then it goes to three of those. I can still do that. I can, I can, I can swing that one. That's fine. Then it's six of those. I can. Sw mm, that's kind of expensive. See, now you're you're getting a little bit too expensive. So let's not go that far. However, let's put a rune in you. What runes do you take? Huh. Wait. He can take stars? Oh, it's a multi-rune thing. It's it's like, um, whatchamacallit, it's like a prismatic rune. It just takes everything. This is great. So, let's see. Strength attribute, resistance to ignite, resistance to stagger, vitality attribute, endurance attribute, radiant attribute, maximum equipment load, Item discovery rate, physical defense, wither damage, physical defense, vitality attribute, physical defense, wither damage, stamina regeneration rate. I still feel like the most useful one is stamina regen. So I'm gonna stick with that. Now let's level up, and like I said, we're gonna triple down on our bad decisions. You know, the the way that we're the way that we're working on this character right now, it's kind of like 
those really poor decisions you make at a bar late at night or something where you're like, well, I'm already drunk. What's another vodka martini going to do realistically, right? <laughs> That's kind of like the the energy that I'm bringing into leveling this character. I'm already drunk. What's another vodka martini? I mean, you know, ah, it's whatever. I'm already fucked up in the head. What's another hammer blow? Wait, I don't want to go this way. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I want to come up here this way, but That's another one of life's great mysteries. Oh, I guess so that... I'm supposed to open the gate. Can I close the gate? No. They don't let you. So what would be the point of coming back up here? Why not just have it be a one-way drop? I guess... I guess it's in the event that you would forget to trigger it. Was there any news of Monster Hunter at the Capcom event? Yeah, they announced something for Monster Hunter now. I forget what it was. Because I don't pay attention <laughs> to Monster Hunter now. Shoot! Serpentine pattern! Miss me, bitch! Miss me again! Okay. Now they're on this side. Do I need to make some better life decisions? I think that if we want to get that loot that I wanted to get to, and if we want to explore that zone that I want to explore, I think we need to be making some better life decisions than running past everything. But that's just me. What do I know? That's just me. Okay, now, can I just lock on to that guy? Probably not. Okay. Pow! What? What happened there? That was strange. Oh my god, stop it! Really? We're not gonna poison him with like, four hits? Whoa, Archer man, I see what you're doing. I see- Whoa! Whoa, the Archer is more upset than the guy who's been getting pelted! Put one right in your forehead. Dude, it's hard to aim for the archer, guys. I'll leave it. Lock on. Right, I can't lock on to him because he hasn't revealed himself despite the fact that he's shooting at me. Like, this is a wombo combo of bullshit. This must be what a bad day at Taco Bell feels like. Except colder. Fuck you! Oh, 
See what I mean about the goddamn ice bullshit? Stop. I don't like the fact that you can perfectly dodge something and still get like that. What? Popped him like a zit. Now the archer's on the other side of the bridge. I hate you filthy archers. Nobody likes you. Filthy fucking bow mains. Alright. Now the thing about this one is that he's got the dogs. We don't want to fight them at the same time. So let's pop an ammo. Boom, right in the forehead. Right in your forehead, I got you, bruv. Right in the forehead. Want to see another one? Watch, again. Right in the forehead again, dude. The absolute disrespect of pelting this man in the forehead twice. How did I do that move? Why is he, po oh right, I was like, why is he poisoned? You mean because you threw three poison javelins into his mouth? I think there's like one Taco Bell in Portugal. I mean, that I know of near me. There's one. But in the whole country? I don't know how many there might be. There might be more. Probably up north. Northerners are probably into that shit. It's like, oh, it's chilly up here. So I'll just eat some spicy things and now my ass is on fire. Uh-oh. I mean, look. The symbol for the football team of the north is a fucking dragon, so... They might like having their asses on fire. I don't know, man. I don't know about that stuff. Can't wait until anybody from the north, northern Portugal shows up here and starts going like... Olha me para este marcão! O puerto é carago! Whoa, 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 careful, I'm about to kill myself over here, Jesus. So, there's this section that I haven't explored. Damn, once I fall down from the other side, I won't be able to explore this. Oh shit. Oh shit. Why did I come in here? Why? I don't like that some of these mobs just power through your moves. Yep, I'm getting frosted. Any minute now. Ah. <sighs> 
This one's new. I haven't seen this one. Pass this along to the devs. Give me a second, guys. I'm making a clip. Hey, I'm helping so that other people don't have to deal with this, okay? Any minute now. There. Is this new with ads during live streaming? I don't know. Maybe YouTube did something. YouTube's been saying, oh, we're going to put ads automatically on videos. Like, we no longer have control over mid-roll ads. Uh, so I don't know if they're doing something with streams automatically or whatever. Usually I just click OK on everything when I'm making the stream. <laughs> Doesn't even need to be a second spirit, can be a second anything, really. So the problem is that now we'd have to go through again. But now that I have this thing open, I can probably just run up here, skip everything, and go straight in there, so whatever. I'll keep plugging away. We just, uh, escort it so the can. Give me a sec, guys. One of the devs is messaging me. Okay. So they're, they're working on a fix. They're just uh, figuring it out so it's not pretty... So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to try something here. 
uh, we're gonna try... This. Ah, uh, maybe the spear on the main hand might be better. A hammer on the other one. I don't know if this will work, but let's find out. Let's test it. I don't know, it doesn't feel that much more powerful. percent going on bro. oh why oh I'm heavy god damn it I didn't notice that is there another dog still no Okay, so now we're too heavy. Let's swap over to this. Does this work? No, we're still too heavy. Really? I actually like this armor more, to be honest. Uh, we just need to go ahead and swap the tank of this over to Lawless. Lawless is actually green. <laughs> Excuse me. So what we need to do now is this. Ooh, that's a high drop. Pop. There we go. Yeet! You know what would be great? Would actually be double spears, or at least something with the reach of another spear. Do I have like a halberd that uses faith? Like a faith halberd? What's this Thundrax? Oh, we picked it up earlier. It's a Grand Axe. And then we have the Karander Rebel's Hammer. It's a quality weapon. But something with more reach. Hmm? Oh, one of these Bell Staffs. Because this also deals holy damage. This could actually be interesting. And it only uses Radiance. But I'd rather have something with Strength and Radiance, considering the route we're going down. I don't know, dude. I'm so confused about this build we're doing. What are we doing, guys? I have no idea how to do this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is there another Radiance weapon that I have? Yeah, the Ravager Gregory sword, which is kind of like the end game. That's going to be the end game of our build. The Ravager Gregory sword. It's going to be disgusting. I think the bell staff might be the way. Look at this. That's actually really fast. Like, if we were using...
I'm going to restart the computer, guys. <laughs> I'm going to restart the PC. Luckily, I don't have to restart the stream for that. I'm going to lose chat while we're rebooting the PC, though. So I can't reply to you guys. No anarchy. No anarchy while I'm rebooting. I will not accept anarchy. I will not tolerate it. Okay? So, but what I, what I was thinking there was, when we were testing that, I feel like when I put the hammer in the offhand, I feel like the moveset is slower to compensate for the weight of the hammer. But when we put the bell staff, it was really fast. So if you put in, like, two long-reaching weapons that are reasonably fast... Our results might actually get pretty good. There's that. That's what I'm considering anyway. Uh, luckily, we have our PC with an NVMe drive, so we're not looking at HDD load up times. Do 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 do. Oi. Oi. I hate that sound. What was that? That sound is almost like, hey, surprise. Boop, 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 boop. What do you mean surprise? I didn't plug anything. I don't want surprises. I didn't ask for surprises. I don't want surprises. UE5 also caused problem, pro problems in Remnant as well. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I, I think that Unreal, Unreal Engine is one of those things where everybody has this idea that like, oh, we should, we should all use Unreal Engine. And then you have situations like this and you're like, ah, maybe not. Maybe let's not have everybody. Like, you guys remember, listen, you guys remember how the dude from Fextra Life was like, oh, it's about time from software ditches their, outda their outdated engine and starts using UE5. <laughs> you guys remember that when dude just goes like oh man game looks like ass they should have been using unreal engine 5 <laughs> motherfucker armored core hasn't crashed once not once i haven't even seen a single frame drop okay that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying all right <sighs> Swinging two handed spears. No, not two-handed. Dual wheel. Okay. In God forever. And in time. Okay. Swap us over to this. Okay. That was me. That was me. Do not adjust your monitor. That was all on me. <laughs> okay, now, as I was saying, uh, so, where's the hammer? A 
wish I had a way to see what... If it is fast or not, because... No, this feels pretty fast. I think it's about the same speed, no? Yeah, it's the same speed. It looks faster, but it's not. This is pretty much the same speed. The thing is, with the other ones, we have more reach on the second stick. Makes me wonder if I should attempt to upgrade that. That's safe. I'm implementing suggestions in real time. <laughs> okay, so... Again, like I was saying, do we have any other weapon that has a decent amount of reach that I would like to use for this? Actually, I'm curious. What would a heavier moveset feel like? Would this be heavier? This is about the same. Let's just put the biggest beefy... Like this. This will make it a heavy, right? Oh, okay. That's what the heavy moveset feels like. Okay, that is the moveset that we don't want. Dude, what if I gave him bleeding, though? Not bleeding, poison. Wait, what if I did both? Poison and bleeding. So unfortunately, this thing scales off of agility. So we're not going to be dealing any damage with it. I wish there was, like, a... Poison thing that I could use. Yeah, I just wanted the weapon with more reach. And it seems like the bell staff is the best thing that we could do right now. I'm not a huge fan of not a huge fan of going for the bell staff Did this hammer go to heavy still fast I'm just wondering how precise the hitboxes even are anyway for now we'll just use the, the old hammer just use this Now, where do we want to go? We want to go and kill the boss. Um, so let's go for that. I think I can make a clean run all the way to the boss. I think we can pretty much bypass everything. Swap my ranged, my ranged thing. All right. Oh, an item dropped here. I'm not liking these dropped frames, though. This is a bad sign. I'm really not liking these dropped frames. <laughs> Please, no crash.
Come on! Dunzo! Oh, I guess these dudes don't leave, huh? Guys, I killed your leader. I guess. What? There was a thing here? Two of them? Three? Was it not working? Jesus Christ, I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I'm out here, boys. See ya. We kill the boss, we leaving. Ow. He shot me in the ass. Really, dude? Oof. Remnant 2 runs friggin' fantastic on my PS5. That much I can ensure you. It runs like butter. Smooth like butter. Well, now. Not not on release, though. Uh, maybe if I reduce both... Maybe if I just, like, you know... Let's... I mean, at this point, the only thing on Ultra is texture quality. <laughs> Now we have to go there and we have to go get our souls. Oh wow, whatever I changed is at a noticeable impact. Was it post-processing? Was it visual effects? One of those two, Jesus Christ. And the best part, I think the game actually looks better. <laughs> I legit think the game actually looks better after whatever I changed. I didn't touch global illumination this time. Global illumination was uh, was already on high. I changed post processing and visual effects. Wow. Floors the fallen. Better or worse than lies of P. Okay, here we go again. Uh. If you like Bloodborne and Sekiro more than the rest of the the Dark Soul than the the Dark Souls games, you're gonna like Lies of P more. If you like Demon Souls and Dark Souls more than Bloodborne and Sekiro, you're gonna like uh, Lords of the Fallen more. Personally, I lean more towards Lords of the Fallen over, over Lies of P, but they each their own. Boop, boop, ow. They shot me in the eyes. So the archer is probably going to have my souls, right? Bad guy. Do you have my souls? Nope, they're over there. Nice. They're very convenient. Take this. No! Pull it! Yeah, got away with it. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I got away with it.
Okay. Now that we have that. Uh, we've got 12,000 souls. Do I keep this? It's like one of the things now is that we don't have the stamina regen. For now, we keep it. For now, we keep it, la. We keep it. Now, we continue down our very poor decision making of increasing strength again. Dude, your screen is freezing? What? Are we losing frames? No. Anybody else having issues on stream? I can't upgrade the flasks yet. We need like two of them. And I think we only have one, right? Do, 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 do. Oh no, we do have two. Never mind. In that case, I'm gonna go there right now. Nope. No issues. Okay. So in that case, that's not. That's not on my end, guys. And by the way, team, do remember, if you're enjoying the stream, you can hit the like button. Helps out a lot. Thank you. Upgrade. Our holy work continued. Fellow sanctified vessel, may Aureus' divine radiance flow through me and into you. Into me. I get more dirty talk from Pieta than my wife. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Sorry, how's your opinion on this game so far? Once you get through the adaptation period of getting used to how far the rolls go and how the overall combat feels, I think it's a ton of fun. Thanks for this content, Rear. Quite welcome, Buster. I'm here for the memes. Don't let your dreams be memes or your memes be dreams. Just do it. That's what Shia LaBeouf would have wanted. Who would have attacked? Are you winning, Rui? Bro, listen. When it comes to... When it comes to crashing, I'm 100% beating every single other content creator, okay? I'm beating every single content creator at crashing this game right now. I guarantee you nobody's crashing this game more than I am. Yeah, J1131, I'd, if you're running on a 6900 XT, I'd hold off for maybe a couple of weeks. 
Things ain't looking good. Wait, cross network play? Bro, I don't even want multiplayer on. Did it really put me all the way back here? Okay. There we go again. My 1060 is better. Oh, I can't I can't wait for the Nvidia fanboys to come out of the woodwork. You guys have no idea how many Nvidia fanboys are out there. Like you guys think that there's a lot of Sony ponies or Xbox, bro. There are so many people gargling on that NVIDIA green dick. You have no idea. You have no idea. My comment section on people just like being dismissive of the problems. Like, ah, oh, the problem's only on AMD. NVIDIA's the best anyway. Why would you buy an AMD? I was like, okay. Fair point, I guess. Let's just have a monopoly on the GPU market. Never tried any other different technology so that NVIDIA can keep charging you your firstborn son for the next GPU. You're gonna have to mortgage your house for the 50 series. Just you wait. Keep blowing all your money away on NVIDIA cards. Listen, I've never been a huge fan of NVIDIA. I've done like one sponsored video for NVIDIA because I really needed a GPU. Uh, it was during the, the big crypto boom. You guys remember that? When GPUs, which it was insane. Like in order for you to get something like a, a 20 series, like $2,000, like almost any 20 series, like a 26 is like, oh yeah, $1,000, it's fine. So I was, I was able to like, get a 2060 with a sponsorship that's the only time i ever took a sponsorship from nvidia and i was like bro i don't like nvidia you want to know the real reason why i don't like nvidia back in the day 3d effects was the thing okay 3d effects they were like the best and nvidia couldn't compete with 3d effects cards because they were a million times better than nvidia cards so what do they do they bought them like well we can't compete with them so we'll just buy them. And then what do they do immediately after? They dropped support for all the 3D FX GPUs. And it's like, oh, you bought a 3D FX GPU? Get fucked. We bought them, we dumped them, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's what they did. I was like, bruh. Thanks, NVIDIA. Appreciate you. And I'll tell you what, if NVIDIA wants to sponsor me again, I'll take it. I'll take it for a GPU, sure. It's the only way you'll get me to buy one. Well, not even buy one, but it's the only way you'll get me to, like, use an NVIDIA GPU. Like, bro, do you realize that a, a 4090 is 2000 over $2,000? Like, what world do we live in? $2,000 for one piece of hardware on a computer where in the realm of reason does that exist god damn this guy me in the ass. Bot not working. Uh, I had to get... I got rid of stream elements because he kept banning people over... Um, what are they called? Over the emote stuff? And I got rid of him. What in the crap? Grunting with effort. Why would you do that? Now I can't progress because of you. Oh, 
Well, I guess I can still jump over. That was strange. What was the point of that? I guess there's going to be a series of traps. Where the hell did these guys spawn in from? What? Oh great, a spell bastard. I cannot emphasize how much I hate these casters. Why are there enemies spawning out of nowhere, though? I'm not even an umbral. Okay, so we're going to be making some changes. Did I not have one of these that... Okay.
Now let's see <clears throat> how many of them actually step outside. Okay, one steps outside. Oh, there's also a bonfire thing. But considering how fast we got here, I'm not really interested in popping a bonfire down. Because, like, now I'm going to explore this area, and then if we die during exploring this area, I can just run ahead of this area, too. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be running through everything. Why is the screen so black? The screen's not black. What? I think that using the poison thing is actually becoming worthless. I might as well just kill him with the damage that I do with the axe. I don't know if that tree is actually... Oh, there's another archer nearby. Also, I don't know where my... So oh, there you are. I'm searching all over for you, sir. Here, catch. Oh, you have my souls. Thanks for holding on to them for me. Oh, look who it is! Oh, you little buster. Get fucked! We're probably gonna have to... Yep. Through that. Can I amble through here? The hell is that noise? I think I saw a Modoc. Who's this? 
Oh, it's the other guy. You don't look so hot, friend. Oh, hello, Lampy. It's bleeding brass monkeys out here. Oh, sorry, Melky don't like me swearing. D don't tell him, will you? I was trying to light that fire, but I can't feel my hands. Or my toes. Or my face. I know my lamp will bring me back if I freeze into a block of ice. But this cold's still no good. Snuggling closer, Snuffles. Me, you and Melchior will be back together again soon. Just you wait. Me, you and Melchior. Just you wait. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Jesus. Wait, is that an item that's like right there? There's an item there, but I don't know how to get back. Maybe we'll need to go Umbral to progress here. That would be nice. Oh, there's a thing to get back right there. Perfect. Let me just get rid of this guy. Stop moving. Okay, dude, that guy's like reading inputs, okay? That mob is reading inputs. There is no way. There's no way. Yeah, now I don't have any, of course. Makes perfect sense. Oh, come on! Kill your friend. There, get fucked. Anyway, I'll be right over, boys. Oh, crap! See, I knew there was a Modoc. He's just really well hidden. I wonder if you can bleed on both creatures, actually. Seriously? I got like stuck into rain. There's gotta be an easier way to kill these dudes. A hundred percent there is. Pestilent blade. Snuggling closer, Snuffles. Me, you, and Mel. Just you wait. That was very expensive to fight. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, come on. I hate this area. Forget Lord of the Fallen, Rui is the Lord of Cheese. No, bro. The game cheeses, I cheese back. It's that simple. Oof. Here we go again. Now I am curious, what was that weapon we picked up? Looks like it'll be like an umbral weapon maybe, because it was blue. Lightsaber looking thing. Wait, it's not even a weapon? I don't think that was a weapon then. It's not a weapon, what the hell is it? Spell. Summons a poisoning umbral rapier. Yep, just like I said. It's an umbral thing. I know there was a vestige, but like I said... I can run there super fast, it's not even worth it. Oh god damn it. Of course I'll get the cheese ball over here. People talk about me cheesing. Look at this cheese. You wanna talk about me cheesing? Look at that dude. You can get much cheesier than that. Where'd he go? There you are. Like, I think them asking you to fight this guy in this area, that's kind of cheesy. Dude, there's like a million attacks in the thing. You could just go like, well, why don't you parry him? Because parry actually doesn't do anything to this guy. His attacks still go through even if you parry. Which I think is, is a bit much. But, you have the tools to deal with it, so just deal with it. 
screw him. He can take all the damage. There you go. Problem solved. We're problem solver here. Problem solvers here in the Iron Breakers. This looks like a one-way drop. No, it's not. If I go this way, it's not. If I go this way, it is. kind of dirty things await us, I wonder. We can put a vestige down here. I think I might risk the vestige here. This feels like a good spot. Plus I have the maximum number of vestiges right now anyway, so... I don't know if it gets activated when I... But now it should be. Regular. I don't need regular, bro. I need the big boys. I need the biggins. The biggins. Your ring. Something tells me that ring's going to just increase the amount of frostbite you do. It's just a feeling I get. I'm gonna push it a little bit here. Really, dude? You're gonna be pulling stuff out of every single little bit? It just... I think GameSpot was right about running through enemies. It is better. If you don't like the combat, I guess it's better. I only run through enemies if I've already... You know, if I've already progressed through the game. And I don't feel like progressing some specific part of it again. Jesus.
Good lord. Okay. Maybe I need to rethink my skipping through enemy stance. Oh damn, I don't want to jump down there. Wait, did the other one stay behind? Oh, but Red Boy's about to be summoned. Where's that one spawn? Let's actually spend some of these souls. Our strength. All the strength. You having performance issues? Yes, and crashes. Well, not that much performance issues anymore, mostly crashes, but that's because I'm on AMD. On Nvidia, as far as I'm aware, things are much better, but I don't have an Nvidia, so limited there. Well, Dask, are you playing on NVIDIA? Once I get the 30 strength, I think that this build's gonna feel real good. I think at this point I'm comfortable going down. We can put another vestige down here. Kinda don't want to, I can just make this run. Should be fairly fast. Although this looks like a boss fight almost.
Oh, it looks like we have to go into Humbl Umbral here. Ancestor's sword. It coming out of the water. Well, we have to go into Umbral anyway, so. Have I seen everything on this side? I have. There's a spell caster on the other side. Um. Fall down from the sky. Interesting. I guess that one didn't uh, didn't really work out. This is the point where I say, yep, I'm gonna run through everything. And another Modoc. Putrid Child Sword. Okay. Large the Raelium Shards. See, those are important. Excuse me. I'll be going this way if y'all don't mind. This seems like a good pathway to go to. Oh, look, an archer. I'll go this way. And I guess I'll go through here. Hey, the spellcaster. Is there a way to open this gate? No? Yes, there is! Progress! Excuse me, don't mind me. And I wasn't really using those hit points anyway. No! Also, Assassin's Creed Mirage is way better than people are saying. It's definitely not going to bring me back to the Assassin's Creed series, but it's definitely good enough to keep my attention. I love it. 
I don't know, dude. I feel like uh, Assassin's Creed lost me when they started putting in coin doublers and XP boosters in a single player game. I'm like, bro. I play single player games that don't do that shit. I mean, I play free to play games that don't do that shit. I don't think Assassin's Creed's ever going to get me back. they really need to give the archers Margaret the Rangement Syndrome? It's not enough that everybody else has it. I'm spitting. Do the archers really need the late attacks? I have my soul. You weren't even the one that killed me. Yes! Progress! Listen, when it comes to Assassin's Creed, it's not even just about the franchise itself. It's about just Ubisoft in general. I don't like Ubisoft anymore. I just don't trust them. Oh, shit.
That's some good ass cookies, dude. After eons of tyranny, the demon god Adir was finally overthrown by human. You know, there was a time when it was like I had beaten everything up until the embargo. And I was like, okay, so now we wait until release and we play this save and we're good to go. Then they also sent me a PS5 code, which I had asked for. And I was like, man, did I rush through the PS5 version? Put a character ready and then just continue from the PS5 version. Man, did I make the wrong decision continuing on the PC. Boy, oh boy, did I make the wrong decision. I'm glad you guys are at least enjoying it. It's just really frustrating to have it crash in the middle of a boss fight, bro. That is rough. Okay. Let's go again. Wait, can I rest after I do this? Like a good little cheapo bastard? Or did they remove my boss? They remove my boss. Okay.
Man, Unreal Engine 5 is amazing, right, guys? Every game should use Unreal Engine 5. Why does an Armored Core use Unreal Engine 5 so that it can have better graphics? <sighs> Dude, I barely lost any health there. Okay, so listen, here's what we're doing, guys. I have a plan. Okay? I have a plan. I'm gonna go in potato mode. Cam's running 60 FPS in potato mode. <laughs> Okay, so to top it off, this is a terrible boss fight. This is an I'm I'm sorry. Ah, dude. It's like I already know that those casters are going to be a serious problem, so I need to eliminate them. And then the crow protects the casters, and it's like, so wait, the fuck do you want me to do? I can't go out there and kill the casters, because you're protecting them. I can't play without killing the casters, because they'll kill me. Like, what are we doing? Dude, and fuck these goddamn dogs, too, man. Fuck them. Straight off the bat, okay? I don't want these dogs. Come <laughs> on. 
Now we play Toho. Grim Jark, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. What am I looking for? No, there's no cross save. <laughs> I wonder if it's loading assets or something because my FPS is so low right now. Okay, let me actually try some. <laughs> we have any updates? No. There was something that allowed me to clear cash. I forget where it was. I forget where it was, but there was something to clear the shape.
That's another interesting thing about Assassin's Creed games. I actually don't like the... Um, what's it called? The Animus stuff? I'm like, bro, I'm having all this fun in, like, I don't know, Medieval Land or Renaissance Era, whatever the fuck. And then suddenly it's like, hey, let's go to Modern Era. And I was like, hey, I guess I'm take a break. Don't worry about the FPS. It's pre. It's uh, redoing the the shader cache. That's why it's like all wonky. It's because I'm on an AMD card desk. If you're playing on an NVIDIA, you're good. Come on, get that shader cache in. This Pieta? Looks like Pieta. Maybe I should get Pieta to come in. Hopefully she will kill the boss before the boss crashes my game. Almost there, team. Good. Oh. Oof. I don't even understand why at this point. It's like I figured it'd be loading in the shaders for a little bit, but Jesus Christ. I guess I, I guess I need to go stand in line with uh all of the Nvidia fanboys that are just waiting to gobble up that green cock of Nvidia. And I need to just, like, stand in line with all of them. To go gobble up some NVIDIA dick. I guess I guess I don't have a choice. I really don't think it matters, Rui. Bro, Cowboy played through the whole game, no problems. No issues. Okay. I think we loaded in the shaders. So now that we've loaded in the shaders, I'm gonna go one extra step and be like, okay, you've loaded in the shaders. Let's say there might be a problem whenever you're loading in the shaders and something's left in the cache or Whatever the fuck. So we're gonna exit the game. We give it like a nice clean boot with all of the shaders. Load it fresh. We're gonna we're gonna give it like the best possible chances at running this. Everything set to low, every special effect turned off, everything. Okay? Here we go. Let the shaders marinate. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're doing. We're letting the shaders marinate. Games are too afraid to crash when Cowboy is playing. Sure. Tell that to Remnant 2.
Okay. Now then, let's give it another shot. <clears throat> what headphones are you using? Some Sennheiser ones. Oh, right, I need to be an umbral. Or, wait, can I yank you? Oh, I can yank her from umbral as well. like I'm dancing for the crow god. Are you happy yet, crow god? Can I play the game now? God damn it, dude. I can't stand those goddamn spellcasters. See, because they just do that and they have hyper armor while they're doing it too. They're literally naked. How do they have hyper armor? And is she just going to stay on top of that? Well, I guess I can't kill them then because they're on top of them protecting iceberg things. Wait, Toho time. Okay, the spellcaster's dead. What the hell? Oh, I pulled in the wrong thing. I'm not dealing with the spellcasters anymore, fuck it. Tank it. Is there stuff on the side that I can, like, leech from? Yes.
god. This is literally the worst boss fight in the game so far. And it's not even close. I can't even tell what the fuck is happening. Now she's gonna come in, summon a bunch of more dudes. Yep, there it is. Oh, at least they had the decency not to summon in one of the archers. And at the same time, it's a goddamn battle royale with the, with the blue thing. There's two of them. Can we go for three? Maybe on the third one, we'll also get the archer. Oh my god! Bro, what a full course meal of absolute ass. What a full course meal of absolute ass. The most protracted piece of shit I've ever seen. Fuck this, dude. Fuck this boss. Like, I'm sorry, dude. This boss just sucks. The worst part is this part right here. It's not even hard to dodge bridges. You have to sit here and do nothing. God, that's terrible.
there it is. It doesn't crash me. Dancing phase looks like Pieta is dead. Wait, what? Die? God, that was terrible. Holy shit. That was literally the worst boss fight so far. Good God. Never want to do that again. Dude, I thought the game was going to crash right there. I was going to lose my shit. So there's not even a path here. This looks like a dead end. It's an optional boss, it seems. Here, anger leader's axe. No, wait. There is a path here. This is the path. Then where's the entrance? This is the path. This is the entrance. Wait, before we upgrade. Our holy work can take let Arius's will be done. I don't know if I want to turn graphics options back on, to be honest. I think I'll just play on low. At least the game doesn't crash. Mizen, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you very much.
YouTube compression makes it look the same. <laughs> so, we can buy the dress of the drowned. Dress given to a young girl by her uncle, permanently cold and damp. Mask bearing the ruined visage of a young girl. Grieving gaze. Summon an airborne creation of umbral magic which rains down shards of ice. No, how about I don't? Guessing we don't have this yet. And we didn't get any new umbral eyes, did we? No. Okay, everything's the same. Did you get anything new? Bearer of the lamp. Like you, I serve. Until her embrace. Until her embrace. Okay. Now let's see if this also changes anything here. Socket runes. There's also a new rune that we got. Is this one, I think? This is shield weight reduces weapon weight. Okay. Okay. I feel like they should have made this shield a little bit thicker. It's so thin. It's like a piece of plastic. You know, isn't that weird? Look at how thin that thing is. Looks like it's made out of paper. Like, my other shield was thick. It's like, look at this. That's got some proper thickness. But then you look at this one. It was like, what the fuck happened there? A man's wearing a piece of paper as a shield. Uh, let's see if there's anything here that we can use to all right it. Hells yeah, brother. This land is to offer you also. They are already conflicted. Boom, 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 boom. Leon Servo, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you very much. Guys, you should already know, like, my one of my defining characteristics is perseverance. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Everything stays the same. We're just gonna level up strength. Bump that strength! Pull, 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 pump it up! Two levels of strength. Alright, now that we have that, how much strength do we have now? 25. There's a ring that increases strength. How much? I need like four more levels of strength. I think it was the brawn. Yeah, it's this one. Squeeze's strength attribute. <gasps> oh my god. 28? Ooh. Dude, 
duh. Do we have like a beefy soul? Like a really beefer? Like what's this? 1600? Bro, this is some garbage. How many souls do we have again? have 3,700. I mean, I guess we can just farm some souls where we're at. farm some souls around here, maybe. Dude, I'm telling you, these archers are so cheap. How's your build focused on? Uh, strength and radiance. I too would like to have iron armor when I begin attacking. Such a useful thing to have for a lightly armored enemy. Oh, she didn't do the thing. Oh. Forty five hundred. We need like eight thousand. I actually haven't explored this area properly. Maybe I should. To say this looks like a dead end, but not quite. Risking Umbral here is a terrible gamble. But is this where I came in from? I think it is. Oh, 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 okay. Three Modox? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, bro. No, no, don't worry about it. I'll get right on that. Not for real. I'm on it. Burkhan in the Modoc, sitting in the tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. I don't know why I healed there, but, you know, sometimes you just do some irrational shit. Can I make it through here? No? Okay. Oh, shit. This guy. I don't want that either. A uh, hell no to the na 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 to the hell no. Yeah, this place sucks, guys. This place fucking blows chunks, you guys. No, 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 I'm good. I'm good, y'all. I'm good. How do I get the fuck out of here? Through here? Okay, bye-bye.
Oh, hell no. To the no, no, no. To the no. Can we open this? No. Okay. And boop. Now this right here is where you make the real bad decisions. See? Oh, nice. Very convenient. My skills, then also you should heed my warning. Can you do it or not? I know enough to try, but I made clear the risk, both in the casting of the magic itself and what might be the results. Bring her back. Damn, Modocs are out there doing damage to people. That's nice. What the f fuck? Remember the way that is. This the way. Yes. See, the thing is, if we stay in Umbral, we can just start killing shit and it'll keep respawning. So I'll do that right next to the thing. And that way, even if I die, I'll be right next to the bonfire. So I can just farm in peace. Because this also adds a multiplier the more you kill. So this is our bonfire. Can they spawn in here? I think they can spawn in the boss's arena even. Which would be a nice open area for us. Yeah, they should be able to spawn in here. So we just chill here and enemies come to us. See? Like this. And they'll get progressively harder. Until eventually Big Red Boy comes along can't really kill him, unfortunately. We're kind of found him because developers of this game, he was streaming the game on Steam right in the front page, Lords of the Fallen. Yeah. I volunteered for that. I did warn him, listen, the game is crashing on my system every now and then. But, you know, they wanted somebody to stream in the front page, and I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Rickon was streaming it. It never crashed. Oh, it crashed. It crashed like four times. 
Uh, it was either four or five times across the four hours that I streamed of it. Yeah, it, it makes me sad because in a lot of ways, you know, people are already for some reason, they're already poised to hate on this game. I've been having a blast. Whenever, whenever the game's not crashing, I think the game's a lot of fun. I had a bit of a, a rough start with it, which was my adaptation period to it. But ever since then, I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I think the game's a lot of fun. I mean, do you think I'd be dealing with all these crashes and shit if I wasn't enjoying it? I'd be like, bro, you crashed. Fuck off. Never play this shit again. That'd be what I would do if I wasn't having fun. Fuck that. But I'm actually enjoying the game. That's the thing. It's the AMD cards, guys. It's not, there's, the support for AMD is, like, rough. That's the issue. Did you like Lies of P? I had a love-hate relationship with Lies of P. In which... I hate that I liked it, and I like that I hated it. <laughs> oh, God, I can't farm an umbral. Oh, hell no, to the na na na. Bro, they know. Ark. You have no idea how much I've been suffering. How you doing, Ark? I saw your video this morning. I agree with a lot of the stuff you said. I'm not sure where I land about the whole thing about the host not getting the same amount of souls. Because to me, it's like, if you're getting the same amount of... Not the host, the guest. If you're getting the same amount of souls as the host, then you gotta be putting something on the line. If you die, you gotta go pick them up as well. Because right now the guest, the guest has no, there's no risk for the guest. The guest is just hanging out. And it's like, hey, whatever souls I get, I get them forever because, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lose my souls from dying. Hey, they allowed me to keep my vigor. Bonk, bonk. Come on, we gotta get to 8,000. Let's go, boys. Spawn more in Umbral. Come on. Give me those two eyes so that I can get a 1.2 modifier. Jesus, 400 damage? That poor creature. Boom. Another one. I'm DJ Khalid up in here. With my damage and the crashes. Another one. Another one. What was that noise? Interesting. The final swing of the special attack with the two-handed was like... Come on, baby. Spawn more things for daddy. Daddy's looking to get his farm on. Watch me kill red boy. Uh-oh. Two eyeballs. 1.2. Let's go. Come on. Spawn this guy right here. Spawn him. Spawn him. I dare you. Yeah. Come here. Bam. Putting them down. Putting them down where they belong in the ground. You. Come here. I am. Cleaning him up. Does he show up at three eyeballs? I forget. Bam. Bam. Dude, I saw that and I thought it was a Modoc. I was like, oh, I don't want no Modocs though. 
wonder if they can even spawn amidst all these dudes. Hello. See ya. See, look at how fast we're getting them souls, man. I think we're going to wait all the way to the red boy. And then I'm going to give it a shot on red boy. Red boy, no cheese. It's not like I could cheese him even if I wanted to. Is there like a drop here? I guess I could drop him like here. Is this too tall? I think he'd survive this fall. Oh, what about here? I wonder if I can like push him out. See what would happen. Wow, twice? You get double on three? Dude, that's insane! Look at that! Twice the vigor! Bro, I got so much vigor right now. Oh, no, 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 no. No butterflies, though. Not this butterfly business. Oh, crap. I didn't ask for this one. I wanted the red boy, not you. Oh, shit. And now you show up? This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit right here. Oh, interesting. He can't come in here. Okay, red boy. Where are you? Come on over. Come on, me and you, buddy. Mano a mano. He's scared. He knows I'll mess him up. Oh, he's over here. Come on, red boy, where you at? I ain't scared. That's it, pussy. Come on over. You're about to get these hands. Interesting. He also hits the other ones. Now I'm curious about something. Because if I leave here... All of the other ones despawn, right? No? Oh, they don't. Yeah, they do. But does Red Boy get the same health? Like, what's the deal here? Red Boy?
Uh, Eerie, uh, that. Uh, I'm over it. Okay, so here's what we're doing. Now, we level up. One more point in strength. Which, with our ring, is going to put us at 29. And you guys know what that unlocks? Let me show you what that unlocks. Okay. For those of you that weren't here yesterday and you weren't paying attention. Where is it? Oh no, I need I need 30. I need one more. I need one more. And this one's going to cost me what? This one's going to cost me 7,400. So we need 6,000 more. Okay. Just a little bit more, team. We're almost there. Because you better believe that things are going to be changing today. I hate that bitch. Matter of fact, I hate that bitch so much, I'm going to do her dirty. Watch. Watch this. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you! You're worthless mom! Still not as dangerous as Crossbow Dude. Crossbow Dude is the most dangerous dude. Swap back to this. about to change our build into easy mode. Just you wait. Come here, little wolf. Ugly motherfucker. Next. You. Level two. Who do you like? Thundercats reference? Yep. Thunder, thunder, thundercats! Thundercats, ho! I'm too old, man. I'm too old for this YouTube gaming streaming nonsense, man. Coming in with my thundercats and my He Man. Bro, I've been having this conversation uh, with like other parents that I know and my kids. And it's like, listen. Cartoons nowadays, they fucking blow, okay? They blow chunks. Like, I'm sorry, bro. Paw Patrol? That shit ain't it, okay? I never saw nothing like Paw Patrol when I was my kid's age, okay? It never happened, all right? You can say whatever the fuck you want. These kids watching some He-Man would be a million times better than watching fucking Paw Patrol and Peppa Pig, okay? Y'all can take your Paw Patrol and your Peppa Pigs and whatever the, the fucking planes thing is with the 
Y'all can take all that shit and throw it in the garbage for all I fucking care, bro. That shit is hot garbage. Okay? Give me He-Man kicking Skeletor's ass. Give me fucking Brave Star, Thundercats, uh, Saber Riders. Give me all that shit. Okay? People talking about how Tom and Jerry was too violent. Shut the fuck up. You want to tell me how about we need to be protecting our children from cartoon violence with all the wars we're dealing with in the world right now? Dude, I think the violence in cartoons was preparing them to survive in the world nowadays. That's why I have so many people that can't even fucking function anymore. Because they were watching Paw Patrol and Peppa Pig. Bro, even Garfield. I was watching like some fucked up 3D version of Garfield. I was like, this is some hot garbage, bro. Garfield used to mean something. Garfield used to mean something, bro. Garfield was an asshole. That was his whole shtick. The whole shtick of Garfield is that he was an asshole. The 3D version of Garfield is like the nicest cat. Like, what the fuck are we doing to our children? Jesus Christ. Damn it, there I go again. Calling the Lord's name in vain. I apologize. It's my limited vocabulary. Um, should I be killing more out here? I gotta be careful. Once we get the three eyes, I'm making a run for it. The thing is, down there is just Modox, and Modox is not nice stuff to find annoying more than anything. And then there's a bunch of archers out here, too. Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget was pretty sweet, too. New Garfield is garbage. A hundred percent, dude. New Garfield is garbage. And the other thing is, I don't understand if, like, the people making children's cartoons just don't have any standards, but, like... Even if just the content of the cartoons wasn't bad, which it is, it's terrible, it's got no quality to it whatsoever. Paw Patrol, dude, is absolute garbage in terms of the content itself. But even if it wasn't, bro, there is no artistry whatsoever present in that show. There's no artist, there's nothing. Like, I'm sorry, dude, it's just, it's just the truth. It's just the truth, man. I know that the truth hurts. That's just the truth, dude. There's no artistry there. It's just 3D garbage. That's what I'd call that. It's terrible. I have no... <clears throat> I have no idea what's going on. I guess people just aren't passionate about what they're working on anymore. Jesus Christ. I watched Cobra. You mean G.I. Joe? Is that what you mean? Uh, you know what I actually miss? Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy was the shit, dude. Ren and Stimpy was amazing. I used to wait like a whole week to watch that on weekends because we only had it on weekends. Bro. That was the shit. Red boy is here to stop us from farming. Evil red boy. We were just hitting our stride too. We just need one more run of this and we'll be good. Back, you farming there, Rui? Yeah, I need one more level in strength. I just need one more level in strength and I'll be good. Wait, let's go into Umbral. Um, Umbral ho! Bro, fuck this archer and this little parasite. Sit down. I'll be with you too. Wait, there's two of them. 
cheating. But I'll get the both of you, don't worry about it. These bats really annoy me. More than they should, probably. Nobody likes you, Spellcaster. Not a single person, you hear me? I'm trying to inflict some psychological damage on her. Emotional damage. Catch, bitch. Bang, bang. Six K. Just need to get to like seven point four. The thing is, I'm going to need some beefy upgrade materials, like tons of them. If I just take this, then I'm not going to have any um, vigor to upgrade the weapon. Which, as it turns out, also requires vigor, so let's do this cycle. Again. Let's push this cycle all the way. Close-up stills and Ryan and Stimpy are reversibly damaged the entire generation. To this day, the thing that marked me the most in movies, like the thing where it gave me nightmares probably for years. I've mentioned this before, but the thing that gave me the most nightmare and sense of dread when I was young was like when they shoot down Murphy, the cop that becomes Robocop. Bro, that thing was vicious. Like, they straight up blow up the man's hand with a shotgun. As a kid, seeing somebody lose their goddamn hand with a shotgun blast? That marked me forever. I was like, what the hell? I, w I never forgot about that. I was just seeing him, like, hold up the stump and look and being like, ah, oh, my hand, it's gone. I was like, bro. It wasn't even the fact that they shoot him up afterwards. That was like, whatever. But just seeing the moment that they shotgun blast his hand off. That was too much. That was too much for a little Huracan. He couldn't take it anymore. There's another scene in that movie, which also is pretty beast. And that's the one where the dude is melting in acid. I also remember that one for a while. You guys remember near the end when the guy falls on some acid oil? He goes like, Help me! 
Help me! That also gave me some really big fear of acid, which is probably a good thing. Probably a good thing. You know, a child being scared of acid, not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Learning all about the corrosive nature of acid as the dude's melting. And then there's one more that I remember, but that one didn't really mess me up so much. But I still remember that, which is when Robocop stabs the dude with a data spike. Just stabs him right in the neck. Offs him off. The guy who died with ass in Robocop movie was too much. It was, it was, it was rough, dude. That guy was melting away and he's actually going like, Help me! Help me! That was fucked up. The Sixth Sense did it for me. I don't remember. I don't... Wait, which one's Sixth Sense? Is that the one where Bruce Willis is dead? I see dead people? That one didn't fuck me up that bad. But I think I, when I watched that one, I was much older. Back then, we didn't get movies from... From uh, America as fast as we do now. Nowadays, movies come out pretty much day and... Not day and date, but... Like, say, within the same week that they come out abroad. But back then, uh, it would take much longer to be like months, sometimes years. Like by the time I watched Star Wars, uh, it was a long time after the movies were out. Let's put it like that. Like I probably watched Star Wars in 89 or something like that. When I watched the first movie. I'm not even talking about Empire Strikes Back. That was probably years later. The internet wasn't really a thing. Red Boy's about to come in and spoil our fun. Stupid Red Boy. All my homies hate Red Boy. Wonder if I can do something to him, though. I'm gonna try something. See if it works. I doubt it will. Take my 11,000 souls and leave, sir. Boom! That should be enough. Anyone having problems with it on PC, update your drivers and use the recommended settings. You're welcome. Damn! If only I'd done that! If only I'd done that! If only I had thought of updating my drivers and use recommended settings. We wouldn't have any of these problems. It's all my fault. It was, it's all on me, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, now then. We can even use the Rang Leader's Axe. What does this look like? It looks neat, but no. I don't know. We're looking for something bigger. Are you ready for it, boys? You guys ready to see our new weapon? Watch this. Yep. So we're gonna need some uh, lighter armor. We're gonna need some lighter armor. 
We're still on heavy territory here. Okay. Oh my god, the sword alone puts you in medium. Okay. I guess that qualifies me to use this hat. Why not? Let's see if we can get away with Mornstead infantry stuff. Nope, heavy territory. Actually, this prosolite stuff is even better. Uh, we have a ton of this. We, I need to sell some of these things, too. Prosolite gauntlets. Back in medium. Yeah, buddy. We're looking ready to beat up some bitches. That's what we're looking ready for. What does this look like once I put enchantment on it? Bong! I got... <laughs> hey, look! This is UPS. I got a justice delivery. <laughs> Time to upgrade this bad boy. Meet our new weapon. We're out of vigor. Hmm. Oh my god, that swing is disgusting. Okay. Also, what can we put in its socket? Increase strength scaling. Increase maximum equipment load. This actually feels like it'd be really useful. Increase posture damage. Reduce weapon weight. How much does this weapon weigh? This weapon weighs... 43 units! Okay, let's make the bitch a bit lighter. Okay? That puts her at... It still says 43 units. That sucks that it doesn't show you how much, but it does reduce it significantly. Uh, we still need to put one more point into strength sooner rather than later, but this will at least allow me to put some better armor. Oh, yeah. I think we can afford to go antique. Sacred Resonance would also be very nice. Jedial Trousers? Who the hell is Jedial? Jedial Trousers. Oh, we can go much heavier. Oh, hells yeah. And we get to have a funky hat. Now let's use different tinks here. Did we get a new one? Okay. We go Dark Oath. Blackness. Ah. Ice grip for Goldie Boy. How about red hat? Ah, that doesn't look. Arbinger. Full black. Black Knight. I don't fear. Black Knight, long way from... There we go. That's what we're talking about there. <laughs> Boom! Now, 
what we do need is some more vigor so that we can bump up this weapon even harder, right? Yeah, because we're only at plus three. We need to go much higher, dudes. Much, 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 much higher. There was also this one that I could have had. But this one does ice. I don't want ice. Doesn't this holy damage wither physical? Does all the things. It's a beautiful sword. Gorgeous sword. We also got this Talon weapon. What is this? Agility? Whatever. Probably bleeds, right? No. Freezes. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, yo. I think I'm gonna go there. And we can farm a little bit more real quick. We'll do one more round of farming just to finish upgrades on the weapon. I mean, I'm already used to farming here, so there's no reason not to. Can you one-hand it? Yes. actually get me just now. This little shit. Know your place, trash. I'm about to lose whatever few souls I have because I'm not used to this goddamn weapon. There's going to be a bit of an adaptation period. That's for damn sure. Hmm. 
thousand. Iron Sniper Lord, your tips only apply to the NVIDIA GPUs. If you're on AMD GPUs, everything's gonna be random. Sword looks awesome lit up. Yeah, buddy. impact on this weapon like the enemies actually look like they feel it wonder if I can buy better upgrade materials from the dude that's uh that's at the other side that was the uh, 360 no scope special right there. So we put 28 into strength, which means we're going to put in at least two more points over the next couple of levels. Then I'm going to pump endurance. Does this sword be hungry for some stamina? Wow. <laughs> Looks like you don't have hyper armor anymore, bitch. <laughs> yes, dude. Come on. Oh, somebody dropped an item. What'd you drop for me? I oh, thank you. Interestingly enough, it says that it does wither damage, but I'm not even seeing the wither damage. No. You just need to accept it. I'm sorry, I was just having some revenge. Wait, she survived? That's impressive. Not gonna lie, it's pretty impressive. She survived that. Warp to Vestige. We go towards... Is it District? No, District is a different thing. I think it's Leprosarium. You, do you sell new things? Just out of curiosity? Hello again, friend. No, you still just sell the regular ones. Suck. That's why nobody likes you. May your path be blessed. Shut up. What class are you playing? 
My class was Mornstead Infantry, but my build has evolved into anything but. Are you? Give me things. Give me things. Hundred and sixteen. Five hundred and sixteen! Sixteen times the detail! See, now is when things get interesting. Curiosity, is there anything here? Okay. Oh, is that the boss fight? Oh, we're almost there. It's like right there. You go from boss fight straight to boss fight. Interesting, you can go down or you can go up. Up is most likely the boss. Wait, could it be that you don't need a boss fight here? The crow was the boss fight? Huh. That might be it indeed. The crow was the boss fight. I know there's a chest. I'll be opening it. <gasps> Upgrade materials. How very convenient. It just so happens that I'm going to be needing those. Oh, look at what this looks like in Umbral. That's an interesting little color. Almost looks like the Bifrost. Now this looks like a boss fight. Oh, the light reaper again. Something tells me this is not the last time I'm encountering you.
sucks that you don't get the practice. The sword is good on him. I just don't know how to fight him because you want to you want to bet we get there now and he's left. That's the thing. See, now he's not here anymore. So you don't get to practice. That's the problem. Like, I want to practice fighting him, but I can't. So give me a second. But yeah, like I was saying, I wish I would get to practice against him, but I'm assuming there's going to be like a final confrontation with him at some point. It just kind of, you know, I want to be able to fight him, especially now I have a new weapon. Dork's Reign. <sighs> Deal additional frostbite damage. You can also bypass his encounter by going into Albemarle and crossing over the water. Oh, look! It's a Light Reaper. The Light Reaper killed him too. Ale Strix.
still expected the sword to deal much more damage than this. At least it's got all the stagger damage. Ooh, rebirth chrysalis. We can respec now. I might have been thinking about doing that, to be honest. Cut down on some health. Uh, cut down on some radiance. Get this strength leveled out. Sounds like a good idea. But to be honest, for our current build, it's not worth, unless I want to swap worlds. And right now, I'm kind of committed to this sword. Boss fight. Oh, really? I can just steal this? It's really nice of you guys. Well, Modox are almost like boss fights. I'm actually curious how this sword would work toward against the Modoc. Damn it, dude! stand this anymore. He's like stuck over there in that... Oh! It is annoying to fight. Haha, -ha, you're here. Is that from the sword? Yeah, it's from the sword. The sword's got like a stripe coming off of it.
attacks. Wait, what the fuck happened? I couldn't even see them. I think that me not being able to see them, I think that's a good... That's a good time for me to realize it's time to take a break. Team, that is going to be it for today. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. If you guys enjoyed the stream, do remember hit the like button, subscribe, bell notification, icon, all that jazz. We'll be back tomorrow with some more Lords of the Fallen. I'll see you guys then. Stay strong. Stay safe. It's out.